I've decided to take a break and discover some of the places that my mates have been raving about right here in WA. So I'm hitching up the caravan and hitting the road. But since I've never towed a van, or pretty much anything for that matter, I thought I'd get the good oil from someone who knows all about it. This is Graham from the Motor Trade Association and he is the caravan man. G'day Adrian. So Graham, I've got this awesome George Day caravan. It's got everything I need inside, but can I pull it with my car? I don't think so, mate. Okay, so what kind of car do I need? You'll need a larger, heavier car with a strong and torquey engine to tow a caravan like that. You should pick your caravan before you pick your car. That way you'll know what you need. So it doesn't need to be a full drive? No, but it's a popular choice because you can explore further once you get there. All right, now we've got the right vehicle to pull it. Can I just chuck my stuff in and off we go? How do I know the car's load limit? The gross vehicle mass is the maximum amount the vehicle can weigh and is stamped on the compliance plate, usually located on the firewall. But if you can't find it, check the owner's handbook. The owner's handbook will also provide information on the tow capacity, the tow ball mass and gross combined mass. It's a good idea to run your rig over a weigh bridge and make sure you are under the manufacturer's maximum load limits on both the car and the caravan. Be mindful not to take too much stuff with you. And make sure you load the heavier items as low as possible and over the axles, then moving forward before storing lighter items at the rear and in overhead cupboards. Incorrect loading can cause the caravan to become unstable. Graham, if I'm driving, can my mates ride in the van? Absolutely not. Fair enough. We've got the vehicle, we've got the van. Do I need anything special to hook them up? Yeah, first, make sure your car's equipment is suited to the caravan, such as the towing coupling and braking system. The car will need to be fitted with an electric brake controller to operate the caravan's electric brakes. And the electrical connections must be suitable to operate the lighting and charging systems. Cross the chains and secure the breakaway to the car's tow bar and lock the pin and latch. So my stuff's all safely stowed away, we're all hooked up. Can we get this bad boy on the road now? I recommend checking a few things first. Okay. Check the vehicle's underbonnet levels. Inspect all the tyres for condition and pressure. Check all wheel nuts for correct tension. Check the stabiliser legs are raised and secured. Check all lights and brakes. Turn off the gas bottles and remove any external power and water. Check the fridge is on 12 volts and locked. Check the roof mounted vents, antenna and windows are secure. Check the awning and door is locked. And disengage the handbrake and reverse latch. And now it's time to hit the road. Graham! Wrong car, mate. Yeah, right. Head to the Road Safety Commission website to find out more.